Hi there guys, today's tutorial we're going to answer one of our viewers question. In our prior tutorial how to add background music to Roblox games, a viewer asked how to add several musics. In today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make a playlist in our game to play several different songs from the playlist in our game. Let's now go to studio and see how we can do that. Here we are inside Roblox Studio. Just go ahead and go to your server script service and add a script and name your script background music script. Inside your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, I'm creating a new sound file, a new sound object. And here I have an array consisting of three different songs or three different songs ID. On the next line here is my current song that is gonna be played next. So the first song I'm going to play is the first song in this array. And as I play the song, once the song is finished, once it's done, I'm going to play the next song and then the next song. And once everything is all done, I'm going to repeat. I'm going to loop back up, back up to the first song again. We're going to play the first song again and then the second song and then the third song. And then it's going to keep on looping. For those of you who don't know how to get these songs ID, I'm going to show you how to get them. So go to your home menu tab and you're going to open up the toolbox. In here, you're going to search for audio. Here you have two different options. You have the sound effects and you have the music. So if you want to play background music in your games, just come over here and you're going to right click on the song that you want. And you're going to copy the asset ID. Once you get over here, you're going to select this ID over here and you're going to paste in the new asset ID that you have copied. Let me just undo this because I don't want to change my song there. All right. So in this case, I have chosen three different sound files. Instead of music, I chose the sound effect, which, which are my own sound effect that I've uploaded to Roblox. So they are these sound effects over here. So the first one is this one right here. So once I enter the game, you're going to see the first sound first, which is the, the woohoo sound. It's this one right here. That's what you're going to hear. And then after that, you're going to hear this hello sound. Hello. And then after that, so each one of these is a different song. It's a different music file, right? And then the last one you're going to hear is this one right here. This has been a Price CP Roblox experience. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. The reason I chose my own files is because uh, they are nice and short. And also, I don't have to worry about any copyright issues when I post it to YouTube. All right, so now that we know how to create our own sound object and how to build our playlist from the music files from the marketplace, all right, um, the next line here is my song index. So um, song, song list index one means I'm going to start with this first song here. And once this song is done playing, I'm going to increment this index to two. So I'm going to play the next song. And once the second song is done, I'm going to increment that index to three to play the third song from this array. This one is just an array. Let me now get rid of this window right here. And the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need a function to play the first song, which is this song right here. The function name is next song. And what this function is going to do is it's going to load the sound ID property of this object that we have created up here. So, so the sound object has a property called sound ID and we're loading the ID from this array here. So this array is storing all the different sound IDs, right? We're picking the first one from the array. How do we know it's the first one? Because our song list index is one. So we're picking the first sound ID from the array. We load it into the sound ID property of the sound object. This here, we're just waiting for the song to load. So if the song hasn't been loaded yet, we're just going to wait here until it's loaded. And once the song is loaded, I want to wait for two seconds between each song before I play the next song. I want to wait for two seconds. 
after that we're just gonna play the sound file all right all we need now is to call this function once we come into the script so we're gonna say next song to call the function once we start the game this line is gonna be executed and it's gonna call this function this function again is gonna load the sound ID and it's gonna wait for two seconds then it's gonna play the song so that's gonna play the first song but how do we get to the next song and the next song for that we're gonna have to determine when this song the current song that is being played it has ended so we can play the next song and to do that we're gonna listen for the ended event of the sound file so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say song dot ended this is the ended event this event is fired when the song has ended once we get the signal that the song has been ended we're gonna connect to a function called song ended and here is our song ended function so once the song has ended we're gonna call this function this function is gonna increment the song list index so remember we started out with song number one once that song is done it's gonna move on to song number two because song list index equals to song list index plus one you can also do it this way you can do plus equals to one all right so that's the short way of saying song list index equals to song list index plus one and then we have to check this checking here is for when you reach the end of the list so so when you're at the end of the list your index is three so three plus one is going to become four so we're checking if the list index is greater than the length of the array the length of this array is three because it has three items in it so if the list index is four and our array length is three four is greater than three then it's going to loop back to the beginning of the list where we set the list index back to one we're looping back to the beginning of the list once we're done with setting the song index the song list index we're gonna play the next song so it's gonna call this function this function again it's gonna load the song id the sound id and then it's gonna wait for the song to load and then it's gonna wait for two seconds and then it's gonna play the song all right let's now play and take a look Woohoo! there it goes that's the first one is the woohoo hello hello is the second sound this has been a price cp roblox experience price cp experience like is the third Please. sound and then it's gonna loop back up it's gonna play the same list Woohoo! again there it goes we're waiting for the second music Hello. file. There it goes. This has been a Price CP Roblox and experience. That's our final music like file. Subscribe. Peace. Once it's done, it's gonna loop back up and play again. This has been a Price CP Roblox experience. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Alright guys, that's how you built a sound list. A song list for your games. Thank you for watching. We will see you Hello. again soon.